there are businesses are totally dependent now on, on IT and technology. Um, everything seems to be some, somehow tied to the, to the internet or to the cloud. And, and these services simplify that set up and that operation to the customer. And so how do you go about, you know, approaching, you know, the mom and pop operation that maybe has, you know, one, two, three employees? How do you convince them to get on, you know, get on board? That's a, that's an interesting question and that's one segment that we as Liberty Business have a, have a large presence okay. uh, in that particular segment. And what we're doing, um, part of what we're doing, and you might see some of this already in the press, is we're making the, the, the offer very simple and easy to digest. Uh, it's, you know, comp mom and pop operations, small businesses don't have the time, don't have the resources, don't have, typically, typically, not all of them. Some of them are very savvy, but most of them are not. Uh, well, I'm thinking of, because now you're going island wide, so I'm thinking perhaps businesses up in the mountain you know those those types of you know mom and pop operations. You might be surprised. We have some very high tech businesses See, up in so, there. <laughs> so tell me about that. That's interesting. Uh, no, but for the small business, uh, your original question before we go into the other uh, into the other commentary, uh, small businesses were offering already uh, cloud backup as part of our bundled services for okay. small businesses. For a flat fee, we include cloud backup, uh, so we give you you know. A number of gigabytes, depending on what package you buy, and you can back up all of your documents or all, all the important information. Mm -hmm. Which is probably, which is which is the most important thing. That you need. Yeah. And the other the other very common feature that we include in our in our uh, small office uh, offer is uh, Wi-Fi. Uh -huh. So for a, for a minimal fee, we can set up Wi-Fi in your business. Um, and uh, you can offer that to your customers or use it for your own internal uh, purposes. Now talk to me about these sophisticated customers. Um, we, we have, uh, it's a little known fact that, uh, you know, our origin comes from the cable, com the cable company uh, environment. We're now a full service telecom operator, but origin, our origin is from the cable uh, TV uh, world. And in order for cable companies to deliver video, uh, they have they have to deploy a lot of fiber, mm -hmm. which reaches equipment that is sitting on the poles. So we're leveraging that that infrastructure into into this new business. And and Liberty and the and the companies that Liberty acquired through the years offer cable TV services all over the island. Right. So our fiber is everywhere. And I can tell you, we have fiber customers in Orocovis. We have fiber customers in. Uh, in Hayuya mm -hmm. and all over the Everywhere. all over the mountain mm -hmm. and, and and on the coast, you know, small towns in the coast, Maunao, you know, some of the places you typically don't don't see uh, fiber deployed, and 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 there's companies that operate there. Uh, we can tell you, for example, uh, a customer in the mountain, uh, Toro Toro Verde, mm -hmm. uh, the mm -hmm. is, They do online reservations. They do a lot of uh, digital inter interaction and activity, and they're one of our customers. Okay. Uh, so that's just, just an example. And then the other the other issue always seems to be pricing affordability. How do you work, you know, with the different size businesses and, and the packages that you offer them? So our slogan, uh, you hit it right on the nail there. Our slogan is a tu medida. Okay. So we pride ourselves into uh, having a consultative process with our each of our customers, and we understand what their business needs are and we design a solution specific to them. Okay. It could be a very simple solution, it could be a very sophisticated solution. We have the whole uh, portfolio of products and we we do that uh, on a one-to-one -one with the customers. We have several, uh, we call them uh, sales engineers or technical consultants that uh, go and meet with the customer and, and design specific solutions. Before they, the, uh, before they sign the contract? Of course. Yeah. Okay. Of course, we want to make sure our customers get what they need, not right. what we want to sell them. Right, right. No, no, no. And and that's very important because that also builds trust. Um, you know, the customer company relationship has to be based on that as well. Right. Um, you know, how has how has the rebuild of the Liberty Network helped or you know um, enhanced um, the services that you're offering? Because right after the hurricane, everything was you know 
pretty much yeah, we, <laughs> flattened. So I know that Liberty yeah. has invested a lot of money in rebuilding. So um, we, Liberty Business was one of the first um, business units inside Liberty to, to reestablish 100% of their customer base. So by April of uh, uh, last year, last year, this year, this year, this year, <laughs> yeah, 2019. No, 2018. By April of 2019, uh, okay, we had already uh, um, uh, about the same volume of of bases that we had prior to the hurricane. Okay. Uh, obviously, we didn't reveal everything, so we acquired some customers. We lost some, but the net net was the business was uh, back on its feet 100 percent by. April of uh, of last year. Okay. Um, so we have invested a lot in the in the network. Uh, and we're doing uh, underground uh, fiber. We're burning some fiber. We rebuilt a lot of the existing infrastructure, and we uh, it's been a quite quite a bit of work. Well, but but in the end, and this goes for every company that went through this, um, you're supposed to build back better so that if another storm hits. It shouldn't be as painful, right, as this was or has we, been. Yes, we've done that and we've learned uh, quite a bit about it in the process, like all the telecom companies. In, right, yeah. that's what I mean. <laughs> and there was a meeting not too long ago at the at the telecom board, well, what used to be the telecom board, where they were talking about that experience. So it's, it's really interesting to see how everything has been rebuilt, hopefully stronger, right? Um, I don't know if you can share numbers. I mean, are, are there any numbers available as to, you know, the market share? Who are your competitors? I, you know, is there some information that I'm we can... Uh, I don't think we no. wanted to, to go into the numbers because we don't... No. Uh, you can talk about your growth. Maybe growth, yeah. yeah. Can, we, can we talk about the growth of the company? So, uh, we have enjoyed uh, uh, over 10% over growth year over year for the last five years okay. uh, as Liberty Business. Um, despite despite the, the hurricane? Despite the hurricane, despite the headwinds from the economy, you know, the last five years have been very tough. But we have grown steadily. Uh, that's the reason why we merged uh, uh, Cable and Wireless uh, to fuel that growth uh, going forward. Um, yeah, you're basically um, making the network stronger, right? The, the backbone for that service stronger. We are, but we're also adding services, we're adding technology, we're adding expertise, we're adding uh, new things. Uh, so so looking, looking forward, you know, look, uh, maybe not perhaps the next year or five, where do you see the business? We, our, our plan uh, is strong uh, growth in the island uh, and that's not we don't foresee any any change in that going forward and then uh, does the does the footprint include uh usvi or no not not for not, us not for this okay not viegas not culebra for the time being it's and it's just puerto rico puerto rico the island. okay all right i will also have a, a really good uh, part of the part of uh, uh, i think you were going in this direction but um one other unique uh, thing that we offer is we have local support for our customers. Okay. So whatever we we sell, we support locally by Puerto Rican employees sitting, actually sitting here in this building. Um, so one of, one of our customers has an issue, whether it's a billing issue or a technical issue, they can call us anytime, 24 by 7, and get a, get a Puerto Rican to talk to them. And, Which is a little different from the other business, the more, you know, cable TV and all that, that, that bounces. And right. our competitors. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, am I, is there anything else that we should talk about? Um, no, you ask about numbers. Uh, I did. I always ask about numbers. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we are about for from a we're part of Liberty Latin America. We operate in over forty countries uh, in in the region, uh, and for the B two B the business segment, uh, uh, Q one we uh, in revenues we reported to about two hundred and eighty nine million dollars uh, in Liberty Latin America and Liberty Puerto Rico. Liberty Business Puerto Rico represents about four percent of that revenue. Okay. So just to give you a, a reference. For Q1. For Q1, okay. yes. And then that 4%, you're looking to grow it. I mean, do you have uh, projections? I mean, I know there's always growth. 
you know, yeah, intended. We, we're but not. Uh, we're not allowed to to, to no. talk uh, into projections. Into okay. projections. So, okay. but uh, I can say we're very uh, very confident uh, to deliver growth for the years to come, okay. just like we've had we have been doing the last five years. It's interesting because cable and wireless in, in other islands is that it's cable TV and wireless services, and so here it's going to be used, you know, as part of um, Liberty, not so much as a separate entity, right? Yep, cable and wireless in Puerto Rico basically goes away okay. as a, as a, an operation, uh, and and this is something that Liberty will probably replicate in other in other countries as they acquire as they acquire any here other. Here was cable and wireless business. Right. The operation. Right. So it was business. never it was never cable TV here or no. you know anything else. No, in, and in the Caribbean, in, in other in other countries, uh, they operate wireless network, cellular networks, phone networks, cable right. networks. It, it's a very broad uh, business. Right. And and they were and they they were huge for some time. So you know it's interesting to see how they'll be evolving and and Puerto Rico is one of the examples. Yep, it is. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate your time and all the information and, and hopefully we'll speak again soon. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you.